common knife defenses involve grabbing the hand and then either doing a disarm or, or retaliating and it often looks like this. Oh. But there's problems with that. The biggest problem is that when you go to grab, you're actually casting a really narrow net. If you look at my hands, this is what, like three, four inches maybe at the most. The other problem with that is that when you are thinking of reaching out and grabbing, it's like Miyagi catching a mosquito out of the air with chopsticks. You have to be hyper accurate. The third problem with that is that when you're grabbing, you're thinking about a grab, you're also constricting your forearm muscles and tensing your body up, which is actually the opposite of what you wanna be. You wanna be fluid, relaxed, so that you can be powerful at the right moment with the right tactics and techniques. So against an actual knife attack, there's going to be speed, surprise, and aggression behind that attack. So my attacker typically is gonna do a sewing machine and I'm trying to catch that. It's very difficult to do. Sure, it is a sound theory to control the weapon before you disarm, control that weapon before you retaliate. But reaching out and grabbing the hand to control that weapon is not the solution. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, smash that thumbs up. Please subscribe. That's right, and comment below, like it, hate it, have any questions, we'll get right back to you.